quite on set and action! Today's video is sponsored by Viscosity. If you need any synthetic lubricants, oils, or grease, please visit viscosity.com. All right, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to give a uh, quick update to what I've been doing. I've been working on replacing um, my trailer. Been working on replacing uh, my trailer plug. I got a spare one in the box of my truck. And uh, that's what I used to hook up my gooseneck with. So instead of the RV seven blade, I went to a tractor trailer seven pin. So my theory on that is, um, not everyone's gonna have that, so it's gonna make it hard to steal. Uh, well, you'd be able to take it, but you won't, uh, you won't have any light, so it should draw attention to the police, which, you know. Anyways, my whole theory is going to make it harder to steal. So in here, that's not where I'm going to keep it, but that's where I got my uh, trailer light cord. As you can see, it's seven pin round. So anyways, purpose of this video is while I was doing this, um, I had no trailer lights like no running lights on the trailer everything else i had power going to it i had brake lights left turn signal right turn signal but i had no marker lights so i had all this ripped apart here and thought i had it all figured out and fixed some grounds in there and uh anyways it uh wasn't back there and then you get into rewiring this and you just keep finding these nest eggs so while i was down here you keep finding these kinder surprises these easter eggs and uh you keep thinking that's where the problem is and i chased it all back into this rat nest of wires and you know here's the brown you know, this was just a butt connector, and I found those, uh, I don't even know what they're called. They go on, they flip over. You know, I've seen a lot of green in here, so I cut all that out, and, you know, still no lights. You know, I start back proding, and then you start following it up, and then you find stuff like this. You know, he's like, man, someone else has been in here. You know, as soon as you find electrical tape, that's kind of a good spot to start digging you know and uh again finding like this one right here this yellow one where someone's again been in there and then i was like well that's you know the nothing broke there right and then i found some some electrical tape here and start investigating there and you don't find nothing and then you start going back in here and then you find duct tape and you're like man like how far am I going to have to follow? I'm going to have to follow this all the way to the front. And then I had the thought that, is there a fuse? So anyways, there is, I found out there is a fuse for it. And uh, I'm going to um, show you where that is. But first, let's tidy this up. Actually, I don't even know where to put this so I can show you. So uh, I'm just going to tidy up, show you how I did it. It's not going to be, uh, look at this, like this is all the wire for the backup camera. So there's been a lot of people in here poking around. Anyways, let me clean this up. Be right back. Okay, so this is all I'm really going to do for now. I, I just put that back up there. Like... Again, when you start seeing electrical tape, or in this case, duct tape, like that ain't factory. So you know somebody's been in there, and that's usually where you find the problem. But right now, I'm just going to zap strap this here right up so it's not dangling around. And uh, eventually, I'd like to put a junction box, but I'm going to mount it. Uh, I'd like to put a new bumper, back bumper on this, because it's pretty beat up. Put a new back bumper on it, and then I'll mount it to that, and that's when I'll really tidy up all these waters. Stand by. Well, look at this. I think at today's high is going to be 7 degrees Celsius. 
yesterday was 10 degrees Celsius. This is February. Like today, I think it's February 10th. February 10th. Like we should have mountains of snow. It should be like minus 20, 20 cold. And like everything is just melting. You know, the politicians really took this climate change thing seriously, you know. They really should stop flying around in their in their private jets, you know, spending eighty five thousand dollars on a Christmas holiday. It's uh you know and they wanna get us about buying cars or whatever they they really need to focus on uh focus on themselves you know crisscross the country for uh for their political gain all these cars driving by drives me fucking crazy it's gotta be one of my favorite things i guess i love barking dogs squeaking toys they're like my favorite Oh yeah, more cars, love it. Anyways, oh yeah, we got more cars coming, come on. There we go. Anyways. Oh yeah, nice and slow. Let's take our time. Anyways. It's disgusting. So anyways, let's show you where that fuse is. All right, so as you can see in here, it's uh, borderline an electrical nightmare. So yeah, it's borderline electrical nightmare in here. So uh, I'm glad I was able to find it relatively quick. So I mean, this doesn't even bolt on. You got like wires just jammed in here. There's a quadzilla. There's no quadzilla in here. here let's even get my pointing. Okay, so if you ever have this problem on a 2005 3500 Dodge Ram, no trailer lights working. This is the problem right here, okay? And I don't know if it's focusing in there, but it is fuse number 33. It's 20 amp fuse. So that is the one you need to replace. Let me see if I can get that focused in there. They are numbered right down there so you don't have to worry about counting or nothing just try that one first okay all this side here all this side here depending how you're looking at it this is the front of the truck you're gonna look at it here the the row closest to you okay that is constant power so obviously I turned the lights on there was power there and when I put the test lead on there on the one closest to the cab uh, this one right here that was uh, there was no power there so obviously replaced the fuse didn't pop again so I knew I didn't have a short and uh, trailer lights work 
Okay, so that's today's quick video. Uh, thanks for watching. Today's video is sponsored by Viscosity. If you need any synthetic lubricants, oils, or grease, please visit viscosity.com.